Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we are going to create a simple login and registration system. We will use Bootstrap 5 and jQuery for the front end development. And for the back end, we will be using PHP 8 and MariaDB. All right, let me show you a short demo. During this session, you will learn server side input validation, session handling, etc. And in the future videos, we will use Ajax for server requests and migrate this app into PHP frameworks like Laravel and Code Igniter. With that being said, let's get started. For convenience, I have already installed Apache, PHP 8, and MariaDB on this machine, and I hope you did the same. If you need any assistance on installing these applications, I will drop a link in the description. Okay then, let's create our project structure. Open your web root directory and create a folder. This is our project folder, you can name it whatever you like, I am naming it, simple login. Now, open the folder, and create a subdirectory, and name it assets. In this assets folder, we will keep all our javascripts, styles, and the third party plugins, so, now in the assets folder, create three subfolders. CSS, for our CSS files, JS, for our javascript files, and finally, plugins, for bootstrap jQuery, and other things. Now, let's create these files. Open the CSS folder, and create a new file, styles.css. Similarly, create a scripts.js file, in the JS folder. Good, now it's time to download our libraries. Let's download FontAwesome first. Go to the FontAwesome website, and click on the Start for Free button. And now, in this page, if you scroll down to the midsection you will find a download button, click on it, and you will be redirected to another page. Here, these are the files we are going to download. Click on the download button again, and the zip package will start to download. Once it downloaded, open the download folder, and extract the zip package. Open the extracted folder, and you will find a subfolder, with the same name. Make sure this directory contains our files. Now. Rename the folder to Font Awesome and move it to our plugins directory. If you are using Windows, you can pin the web root directory to the Quick Access panel. It will be easier to access this directory directly from Quick Access. Alright, let's download jQuery. Open the jQuery.com website and click on the download button. Now, select the compressed production jQuery and it will open directly on the web page. To save this file, right click on the page, and select the save page as option. Now, in the file browser window, go to our plugins directory, and create a folder jQuery. And save the file in it. Similarly, we can download Bootstrap Framework, and host it on the plugin directory. Well, it is a homework for you, so I'm skipping to the main part. Okay. Let's revise, what we have done so far. In the document root, we created a folder, simple login, and a subfolder, assets. In the asset folder, we created a CSS folder, with styles.css file in it, a JS folder, with scripts.js file in it, and lastly a plugins folder, with font awesome, and jQuery in it. Alright, now the last thing we need to create, is our default document. So, go back to the project root, and create the file index.php Beautiful. Let's open the IDE. The IDE I am using here, is Visual Studio Code. It is a free application. If you are using any other application, it's perfectly fine. Okay, now, open your project folder in the IDE. And from the Explorer pane, open the index.php file. If you are using code, you can see the project structure, in the Explorer pane. For better visibility, let's hide the Explorer pane. Alright, now we need a basic template to start. Open the Bootstrap homepage. On the right side, you will find a link to starter template. Click on the link, and you will direct it to a basic HTML template. Let's copy this HTML code, and paste it on the index file. Okay, I had to clean it up a little bit. Now, let's save the file, and try it on the browser. 
It's working. Now, let's add our CSS, JavaScript, and plugins to the page. At first, load the CSS files. Here, in the head tag, Bootstrap style sheet is already loaded. So, just add the Fun Awesome style sheet, right below it. You can simply duplicate the Bootstrap link, and edit the path to Fun Awesome CSS file, all.min.css. Okay, now duplicate this line, and edit the path to the styles.css file. And, one thing to notice here, is the order. CSS files are loaded in the same order, that appear in the page. So, always load custom CSS files, at the end of the list. Alright, now let's load the JavaScript files. Just like the CSS files, loading order is important for JS files. Since Bootstrap 5, jQuery is not a mandatory requirement. However, we need jQuery in this application. So, let's load jQuery before Bootstrap. And now, load the scripts.js file, at the end. Alright, now, just save the file, and test it on the browser. In the term of saving files, Visual Studio Code has, an auto-save feature. The file is saved automatically whenever you make any changes. So enable this feature, if you are using code. Okay, now, go back to the browser, and refresh the page. Use the Ctrl plus F5 keys, to do a hard refresh. It clears your browser cache, and the changes will reflect immediately. Alright, now, let's check our files are loaded correctly. Right click on the page, and select, the view page source option. Here, this is our source. Now, just click on each links, to check whether the files are loaded correctly or not. Excellent. Our files are loaded correctly. Now, it's time to wrap up. We will do the layout, and other stuffs in the next video. So, good luck guys, see you on next video.